If Medal of Honor recipient Captain John J. McGinty had had it his way, according to a close friend, there would have been no pomp surrounding his funeral last January. But of course, when you're an American hero, not going to happen. Hi. McGinty's friend, fellow Medal of Honor recipient Captain J. R. Vargas, says McGinty, partly for his humility, the greatest Marine he's ever known. John was down to earth. Young Marines seek him out just, just to go up and talk to him. You know, wherever we traveled, he was that popular and respected by the young Marines. That's because, Vargas says, his big-hearted friend, the personification of a great Marine. He had the biggest heart I've ever known a man to have. You know, he was always going up to young Marines at the airport, wounded warriors, admired him. He wanted them to know that uh, they were loved and that he was very grateful for their service. McGinty's service perhaps highlighted by his heroism in Vietnam in 66, leading to his Medal of Honor. As Rebecca Lurie wrote last January, quote, with waves of deadly assaults threatening to wash over his platoon, Staff Sergeant McGinty charged through enemy fire to direct an assault that would bring many of his Marines home. Major General James E. Livingston, yet another Medal of Honor recipient, served with McGinty at Camp Pendleton in the early 70s. He was always very caring about uh, his fellow Marines. He was very caring about, concerned about enlisted Marines, and he always demonstrated an interest in making sure that they were well taken care of. And that was the thing I, I really respected about John. He was the tops, and uh, I miss him.